Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to discover how plants use hormones to respond to light and gravity. Higher tier students should then be able to describe the roles of gibberellins and ethene, and all of this is for triple biology students only. I'm showing you here plant shoots growing towards the light. This is called phototropism, and that's a word that you need to learn. Now, scientists carried out a number of experiments to find out how phototropism works, so we're going to look at those first. It's possible that you could be shown these experiments in an exam question. So, I'm showing you here some shoots, and we're shining light from one side only. As we've seen, the shoots grow towards the light. Scientists wondered whether this is controlled by hormones. First, scientists removed the very tips of the shoots. They found that now the shoots did not grow towards the light. Scientists suggested that shoot tips produce a plant hormone. This hormone is called auxin, and again you should learn that word. The scientists then covered the tips of the shoots with foil to block out the light. Again, the shoots did not grow towards the light, so this tells us that the tips are sensitive to light. The scientists then used foil to cover the lower parts of the shoots, and in this case, the shoots grew towards the light as normal, so this tells us that the lower parts of shoots are not sensitive to light. So we're going to look now at how shoots use the hormone auxin to grow towards the light. I'd recommend that you learn these stages. Auxin's produced at the very tip of the shoot, and in shoots, auxin triggers cell growth. Light causes auxin to concentrate on the darker side of the shoot tip. Auxin now spreads down the shoot, so cells on the darker side grow faster than cells on the lighter side. This causes the shoot to grow towards the light. Now plant roots grow towards the force of gravity, and I'm showing you that here. This is called gravitropism or geotropism, and this also involves auxin. Auxin's produced in the root, but gravity causes the auxin to concentrate on the lower side. Now the key fact is that in roots, auxin inhibits cell growth, so the lower side now grows more slowly than the upper side, and this causes the roots to grow towards the force of gravity. Now, as well as auxin, plants use other chemicals to regulate their behaviour, and if you're a higher tier student, then you need to know about two of them. Gibberellins are important in starting the germination of seeds, and the chemical ethene controls cell division and the ripening of fruits. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on plant hormones in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.